Hello everyone, it's Amy and welcome back for week 12 of Journaling on a Budget Starting Over. And today we are going to make some pockets. And what we're going to do is um, we made this ephemera holder a few weeks back and when I was putting it away, I kind of got to thinking and I thought this would make a really cool pocket. So that's what we're gonna do. Just gonna put that one up there. We are going to make a pocket on the order of that ephemera holder. So I went through my book trying to find a page because you know it's going to be a pocket on both sides of the page and so that's going to make it a little thick. So I was trying to find a place like here we already have an envelope and then here we've got the belly band with the card and there's a, a, a pocket there. I didn't want it right in the center and so I got this far and I thought that's the one. So because then on the blue one, um, we've got again the envelope and this one has a pocket on this side. So in the first signature, that was the one that I thought would work the best. So we're gonna put it on this page. So I decided to try and find a, a color that would look nice with this page. And I thought that this um, eco-dried paper would look really nice with the sassafras leaves on it. And this is legal size. You don't have to have legal size. You can do it eight and a half by 11 exactly the same way. It'll just be a little bit smaller. So, but what we're gonna do, I'm gonna set this aside for just a second. So just like we made our ephemera folder, we're just going to fold it up. And however far you fold it up, that is how, how long your pocket is going to be. So I'm gonna fold it up like that. And if you wanted, you could fold it up and just leave it like that. You don't have to do this part where you fold it back. I like that because it makes the edge of the pocket just um, sturdier, you know, in, in my mind. So then you're just gonna fold it back. Now in the other one, we folded it up four inches and then we folded it back an inch. This one, I'm just eyeballing the whole thing. So I just folded it up and then folded it back. So if you really want to know the measurements, it is, I folded it up three and a half inches and I folded it back just under an inch. So there we go. And then what we're going to do is we are going to fold that to the outside, edge to edge. I'm gonna use my ruler here because that wants to be all buckly and I don't wanna fold it that way. So we use my ruler to help push it where I want it to be. There we go. Okay. And then we're gonna turn it in like our ephemera folder, except we are going to leave it back about a quarter of an inch. So we're gonna leave it, we're not going all the way to the edge. We're gonna stop at about a quarter of an inch from the edge. And then turn it over and do the same thing on the other side. Again, about a quarter of an inch from the edge. This is gonna be glued in, so you're not going to see whether these folds are exactly in the same spot or not but they should be about in the same spot if you leave the same distance there. Okay, so there we go. And now we have like our ephemera folder. We have it looks like this. And we've got pocket, 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 and pocket. Alrighty, so then what we're gonna do is we are going to put some washi tape on there. And we'll use the washi tape that we made last week. I chose this one because I thought that that looked nice. And I want this end down here. So I'm just going to peel it back from there. Now it's got a little bit of paint sticking out the edge, off the edge. I can trim that off if I want to. I kind of like the way that looks, so I'm not going to. I'm gonna leave it just like it is. And so then I'm going to take that. And actually, let me see a second. Let me just look at 
I chose the tag I want to put in there for the color. That's not the right calendar. Here's the calendar. This is one we looked at last week or week before. And, um, you know, we had these little, I thought these two would work perfectly because the next page is blue. So I thought that would go with that. And then the color of this page is here. So I am going to just trying to decide which end that I want because I also want to put a piece across the bottom of the page. And I think that this is the piece that I really would like to put across the bottom of the page. So I am going to grab that page over here and just kind of see how big it needs to be. And I'm gonna cut it right about there. And like I said, I don't mind that on the top. So I'm just going to leave that up there. The paint that's sticking off the edge like that. And it's going to be a little too long. And all I'm doing is putting this on here for decoration. No other purpose. It's not here to hold anything on. So I'm just going to line it up with the edge. Pretty much line it up with the bottom. And then I'm going to just cut it off. hopefully fairly straight right there okay now it's a little bit short there just overlap it a little bit to make it the right length there we go so now that's there just for a decoration in our pocket's going to go just above that. All right, so now we also need some to tape together our pockets. And so we'll use this end now. And I'm just going to eyeball how much I need. I do have the folded over part here. So I'm going to cut that off. Set it there for a second. And then this needs to be about that long. And I'm just going to kind of center it half on the page and half off like that so that I can turn it over and tape it down on the other side. Go. and then we need one more and that one is going to be about okay, just a little bit more cut it right there and now before I push that back down, I'm gonna stick this piece that I cut off. This is the folded over part. I'm just gonna kind of stick that. I'm gonna do it this way so that it'll be easier to peel off later. And that way I can peel that off and then take this off. Okay, and then we're gonna take this one and just line it up on there at the top. We can always cut the bottom off if we need to. it over and that holds our pockets shut so there we go that part is done all right now my thought was when I was looking at it was that um, I would kind of like put a little lock on here and cut a half circle like this one and after I did that I thought well the pockets there if I put the half circle in this area to hold this down, it makes the pocket a little smaller and it's kind of would be in an odd space. So I didn't like that idea, um, but it would work. You could put a brad through there after you put it in your book, 
because this is going to be glued in the book, you could put a brad through there with a little, like, um, clock hand on it or something that would come across and hold this shut. And, and that would maybe be cool, but I just didn't like that. So I wanted to, so at that point then, I, that's why I folded it just a little bit short. So we can put a tuck under spot on there like we have here. So you can just tuck it under there instead of um, having the little latch. But let's see, where did my calendar go? So, um, because I'm going to cut a one and a half inch circle, and because half of it's blue, one page is blue and one page is orange, I'm going to kind of cut here. And this is also cardstock. You want something, you know, this is this is a heavier card. So I'm going to cut it like that. And so you want the heavier card for this part because this is going to hold it down. And then what you're going to do is you're going to fold it in half. So you have a half circle on each side of our pocket. Let's burnish that down. Flip it over and do it on that side. There. And so now half of it's orange and half of it's kind of blue. And then we're gonna take this. We're gonna stick it right on here to hold that down. Now you can decide to put it where your washi tape is. You can decide it to put, put it just above the washi tape. I think I do like it. Just above the washi tape is also um, above the pocket. And so I thought that that would be a nice place to put it and it will still hold it shut. And again, if you, if I had burnished this well, it wouldn't be quite as puffy. Um, you'll find that whenever you're doing folds, using a bone folder or something to burnish all of your folds, even these ones here, it's a little bit rubbery, um, even these folds on the pockets because they, you know, put bulk in your project. So if you burnish it all down, it really makes things sit much smoother than if you just press it by hand. And you, you would think that you're getting a good press when you do it like that, but just burnishing it is just a little bit better. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, since I decided that I want this on the top, this is going to go in our book just like this. And I'm gonna put it just right above the washi tape that I added there, like that. And then maybe some lace or some other kinds of decorations here. This is going to be a pocket and there will be a pocket on the other side. So this is going to be the orange, this is on the side with the orange paper. So I'm gonna put this like this. Oops, we're gonna put it up here. And then when you flip it over, oops, didn't put it on that one. So it'll be on there like that. And when you flip it over, the blue side is on with the blue paper. So, I'm going to just put that on there like that, and I'm, for speed's sake, I'm going to use Fabri-Tac, but you can easily use your tacky glue and just let it dry. And what we're going to do is, we are going to, it opens up like this, we are going to glue these two insides around our page. Our page is going to go right in here and this is going to shut around it. So we are going to glue this part and this part and that will leave us a pocket here and here, here and here on each side of the page. So we're just going to just put a bead of glue if it will come out. Here it comes. Just a little bit of glue here. And a little bit of glue here. Now I was told that Beacon has a poster glue at the Dollar Tree um, that works just like Fabri-Tac. Um, and so I just wanted to let you all know that I have not tried it yet myself. Um, but I've had a couple people tell me that. And so the next time that I go, 
I am going to try it because Beacon also has one called 3-in-1, which is a little bit cheaper than the Fabri-Tac. And that is the glue that I always used to use. Um, and it really pretty much works the same. And then one day I couldn't get it and everybody was using the Fabri-Tac and I thought, well, I'm going to try the Fabri-Tac because everybody else is using it. Plus, um, I couldn't get the one I usually get. Okay, so now we've got our glue on there. We're going to open up our page and we're going to get it where we want it. And slide it all the way up to that crease. And then just fold it down and give it a press. Okay, make sure you don't glue your page down. Just got that one a little close to the edge or a little too much, one or the other. Squishing out. Do that later. When it kind of dries, you should be able to rub it off. Alrighty, so there's that side. And it has a pocket. And here's this side. And it has a pocket. I don't want to pull on it too much because we have to let the glue dry. And we have a pocket here, and we have a pocket here. And we have places that we can write. Places where we can stick stuff in a pocket. And then we are going to take our closure. And we are going to put just a little bit of glue right in the fold. You don't want to get it all over the place because you want it to glue to the paper and just over the edge of each side, but you don't want it squishing out onto your circle because that's what's going to hold your flap down. So if the circle is glued right down, then you won't be able to get your flap in there. So just a little bit right along the fold. And then, whoops, I almost put the blue side up. I want the blue on the other side. And then just slide it on there. And give it a little pinch. Just like that. Now this is what is going to hold our side down. A little tuck to hold that down. And on this side too, just tuck it in there and that holds them both down. So now you have this nice, pretty large pocket here, two pockets inside, and yet it's not all, you know, bulky and in your face as far as like flipping all over the place. So I kind of like that sometimes. Sometimes I like them where they're just kind of floppy. But this one is meant to be a little um, on the neater side or, you know, closed side. So if you put something in there you don't want anybody to see, you just put the little lock on it, and when they open your book, it's not gonna just fall right open and they may be seeing what you don't want them to see. And so there we go. Now we're gonna let this dry before we tuck our sides into it because number one, we don't wanna glue our sides in there and we don't wanna put pressure on that to pull it out because we want it to be nice and flat. So there we go. That is how we turned an ephemera folder into a new little pocket and then it needs to be decorated, but we'll do that at another time. <coughs> excuse me um and then I thought just really quickly in the second section I thought we could put one here on this yellow page but in case you don't want all the pockets we're going to just take a regular eight and a half by eleven fold it in half dogs think that they have heard something. So we're going to fold it in half and then oops. let's see. I'm totally confused now <laughs> because I don't have the pocket on the bottom. Okay, so you fold the pocket up and you fold the pocket up and then you fold your paper to the outside and then you fold it back too. There we go. You fold it back about a quarter of an inch from your edge. And do that here to about a quarter of an inch from the edge. 
And then we're just going to put our glue on it. Yes, because we're gluing it like a pocket. For a second I was looking at the, the fold thinking I had to glue it there. Glue it right across there. Glue it right across here. And this is full size. This is a regular sheet of paper and we made our books out of regular sheets of paper. So they're gonna be the same size. And I did check to make sure it was going to fit first, just in case maybe this piece of paper was not regular copy paper. Just fold that right over. Press it down at the top and at the bottom. There we go. Now we have a nice long pocket here and a long pocket here. And then we have this opening, so this is really nice writing space because there's no folds, no pockets, or anything like that. You could put your lines in there if you wanted to. And then I thought what we would do is, I thought that we would, using the same paper, and I did look at the one here, which I knew I was going to kind of cut into it when I cut the circle. And I don't mind, that's not my favorite picture. I probably will not do a journaling card out of that picture. So I am going to cut more out of that picture and I am going to cut my butterfly. Just trying to decide how I wanna do it. I kinda go like that. There we go. And then you can also score this on your scoreboard if you want to but we're just going to fold it right in half, including its little body so that it's really half. Make your antennas line up and you'll know you're in half. Line up your wings. Get that little body to fold so that it doesn't look funny. There we go. And then I'm going to give that a press on the non rubbery side of my scissors. I need to put a bone folder right here on my desk so that I have it. Because I always stick them back in my scoreboard, but then I don't have them sometimes when I need them. Alrighty, so now we just have, I have a butterfly instead of a circle. And we are just going to take this. And we're going to put it right in the middle of our page like that. And then that is going to be our closure. And it's going to hold both sides down. I'm going to just put a little bit of glue right down the center. And again, making sure that I keep it right in the middle. So that I have enough room to tuck my paper in. And I'm going to put a little bit on um, the antennas so that they don't get all bent up as it's being opened and closed. And let me get some up there. And then right down the center, all the way down. And then just side. The middle is right about there. So that's where I'm gonna press it. Making sure you get it pushed up there. A little bit of glue on my paper. I don't want that on there. Make sure you get it pushed right up there. And there we go. And again, and because there's a little bit of glue on there, um, when I'm all done here, I'll wind up sticking a little bit of piece of parchment over that so it does not glue itself to anything. But that one is going to look like this on this side. And on this side, it will look like this. And there we go. And so now we've got our pretty butterfly there, but we have a big long pocket here. And when we open this up, we have a lot of writing area there. 
So there we go. So we've got our long folded pocket and we have our little short folded pocket. Well, that's not a pocket. Okay, now this is getting glued a little bit. I'm gonna kind of move it a little bit and this is what I'm gonna do. That glue's sticking out, but if I leave that paper in there, it is going to glue itself down. So I need to figure, here we go. I figure out what I did with my parchment. Okay, so here's a piece of parchment paper. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold the parchment paper, pull this out, yep, see the glue's already kind of grabbing it. I'm gonna put the parchment paper on there so that it doesn't get glued in because the parchment paper should not stick to your glue. And I'm gonna push that in there nice and flat. Push that parchment paper even up a little bit just to kind of move that. And there we go. Now I'm gonna let it dry like that because now it cannot glue to my page because the parchment paper is there. Make sure it's parchment paper. Non-waxed paper is not parchment paper, I found out. I think it's called non-waxed wax paper or something like that. Um, or something it's not parchment paper. Parchment paper is non-stick. And so that's what you really want to make sure you have when you're trying to make sure something doesn't stick. So I'm going to put this one in here. That one is good. That one wasn't down too far. And that way I can leave it all closed up, but I know that that is not going to stick to my page. And I'm going to do the same thing with our butterfly so that it can... Oh, I got another piece right here. So that it can dry closed also. There we go. So I'll put this parchment right there. Because even though we left the quarter of an inch, if that glue squishes out a little too far this way, then your page is not going to want to go in. If you can't get it lifted up, because you really don't want to bend this a lot, you can always just cut your page back just a little bit till it fits, if you ever do it and your page won't fit. It would be better to cut your page back just a little bit um, than to try and grab your wing and pull it up and pull it up and, you know, to make it so that you could fit. But then your closure is not going to be as flat as it was. And you'll have a hard time once you've bent it trying to pull it up, getting it back to where you want, you know, how flat you want it to be. Let me take this one and tuck it under there. Yeah, both of those did really well. Though Neither one of those was too close to the paper. So there we go. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope that you like um, this new little pocket, new to me anyways. Um, but I just, as I was looking at the, I think I went to, I think I went to take the ephemera holder and kind of like stick it in one of my books, not this one, but, and when I did, it got caught. And that's when, that's when I thought, ooh, pocket. So thank you very much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. And um, I am going to put these two in here. I'm going to take those out so I don't forget. Oh, and the reason that I wanted these was because, because my pocket loads this way, I wanted a picture that went this way, not up and down. So we had the ones that we already did, um, which I had here, but I don't know what I did with them. Um, but those ones go up and down. And so, to me, I, here we go, I, I don't like to take an up and down picture, if, if I can help it, and stick it sideways. I do that sometimes, and this one really, not necessarily, doesn't even have an up and down until I stick a word on it, but, um, you know, they're going to go in like this. So these two are going to be made the same size, but the picture is oriented that way. And since I have them, and just coincidentally, we've got an orange and a blue, which worked out perfect for this page because we've got the blue there and the orange over there. So these are going to be the two um, tags that I make and put into these pockets. So there we go. Thank you very much for stopping by. I really do appreciate you. And I hope that you all have an outstanding day. Bye-bye.